Warwick's Nano Silicon Group is taking part in a five-year project to explore and develop the exciting potential of combining silicon with germanium to produce a compound capable of carrying audiovisual information a thousand times faster than current broadband allows. Leading the group is Dr. David Ledley. What we find is that silicon can only go so far and we now need to improve this by one way of which is to put germanium into the system. So for, for many years in this research group, we've been including germanium in with the silicon and making much faster devices. We've been researching for at least 15 years in this research group. It's been in industry sites for perhaps the last five years, and they're now starting to see processes which have got silicon germanium in. Within the silicon chip, there are electrons, or sometimes they're holes, which have to travel very fast between one point and another. In silicon, they don't go quite as fast as we'd like them to, but if you put a mixture of germanium in, we can get the carriers to move much faster. The project involves a consortium of several UK universities. The Warwick team's looking at how silicon germanium detects the information and how it's able to process it faster. But first, they have to combine the two elements together. This is a ball of silicon, which will have come originally from sand. We put this into our growth tool and from here we'll evaporate silicon atoms onto a silicon wafer. Here I have a silicon wafer. The atoms come onto the surface of this wafer, they can move around the surface and eventually find somewhere to stick and it turns out that they grow one layer of atoms at a time. We, so we can switch from growing pure silicon to silicon germanium alloys or even pure germanium on this wafer and we stack them up layers at a time to produce the devices we want. This graphic shows the atoms in the silicon layer. So this here is the, the disk of silicon, and we start growing by atoms coming onto the surface. Here are some atoms that are traveling towards the surface of the silicon. Now these atoms are then free to move along the surface, and they move until they find somewhere to stick, which tends to be one of these little step edges. So the atoms will stick there and form a new layer. And this is what leads to this layer by layer growth. We can put germanium in as well. The germanium atoms are slightly bigger, so they tend to have a wider spacing here, but they can still be made to fit within this silicon lattice. And we've, we've just got a capping layer of silicon here to finish the structure. This is a big consortium of several universities in the UK, and the Warwick contribution is to grow the detector specifically, which is going to pick up the signal uh, coming from a different part on the chip or from the fibre and will produce very fast detection of the, of the images that are coming through. Currently for photonics we have different lumps of material produce the laser, the modulator which encodes the signal into the light and another material for the detector. What we want to do is put them all together on the same silicon chip and that means things can be much, much smaller, use lower power, and be much cheaper. Using silicon germanium in this way offers huge potential. It effectively doubles the speed of current silicon chip technology used in microprocessing, computers, and mobile phones. It could eventually revolutionize domestic internet access and home entertainment. Andrew Stevenson is Managing Director of FDI, a fibre optic communication company based on the Warwick Science Park. The research is very exciting in that it gives the opportunity to make fibres of the home far more um, obtainable in terms of cost. Um, there, that cost has been one of the key factors that has been um, with, withholding um, the acceptance of the technology or the implementation um, of, of the technology and the work at Warwick is going a long way towards addressing that need and at the same time it's also giving a fantastic improvement in speed. We have 2 megabits in terms of uh, an internet speed and some uh, ISPs are offering up to 16 uh, megabits but with this technology, we're talking about a thousand times, that's three orders of magnitude greater than, than what we currently have. Now, in other parts of the world, yes, they have 100 megabits and, and that is standard and places like Singapore. Now, we'd be looking to go an order of magnitude 
above that. And that opens up a lot of possibilities for the future. We now have a new exciting project where we can put silicon germanium into the photonics area. This is where light is interacting with the electronics as well. And we think that uh, we can use silicon germanium to make very fast photonic devices, which will allow more, much faster optical communications. So, for instance, the fibre to the home technology, whereby we can pipe information into the home down an optic fibre, far faster than currently available on broadband. This could lead to technologies such as digital entertainment coming to every home on demand. This could revolutionise the way home users see their entertainment. You can choose exactly what you want to download when you want it. It comes down very fast, you get it in full definition, full colour, height, whatever's coming next. It could also have big implications within business for fibre to the office. Business spends a lot of time in conferencing, talking to people. We could do video conferencing on demand almost. We've got a five-year project. The Warwick contribution to producing detector will happen within the next two years. After that, we'll spend more time working on the integration of it. And the final device at the end of the project should be very close to something that can be realised commercially.